so in this video i'm going to share about what happens when you have retrograde jupiter in your chart okay many people were requesting this video so i'm making if you want to take personal consultation you can check the website uh, click the website and uh, choose whatever consultation you want to have and then you can message me on whatsapp okay so let's start this video so first retrograde jupiter shows see any planet which is retrograde uh, first you have to see the houses it's ruling regarding that house you have some pending karma means that you did not finish that business properly or you left that business whatever it may be for example it was learning to let go anger but uh, you failed in that lesson so again jupiter is retrograde jupiter will can basically root your first house or it can be uh, conjunct with sun or mars okay to let go your ego and anger and you failed in that kind of uh, lesson so in this life you have retrograde jupiter to um, same situations will happen and then you will get the same situations so in how you will perform basically again for example uh, in exams you fail then you retake the exam right you learn again same way uh, when we die then we go to the school in the soul world where we again learn from our masters and then we come in the uh, exam hall of earth again with the same situations so uh, whatever situations happen which trigger you basically it can be regarding anything you just can accept that it happened in the past as well it is happening again to test how much i have learned okay so any planet now if jupiter is retrograde it shows that you will not follow or you should not follow or you are here not to follow the prescribed societal norms religious practices principles old beliefs and patterns of this society okay you will always be the seeker of truth you will follow whatever the truth is not something which people are following for example uh, everyone says that it is very important you should uh, study and get a very high paid job and you should not follow your hobby so you will be the one who will not trust it you will want to find the truth and go towards what the truth is so basically not following what normal people are following from the very beginning you are here to do something different to follow something different okay so definitely you should not follow the crowd right you are the seeker of truth jupiter shows tradition custom religion philosophy etc right so your family can be very uh, religious uh, and your opinion may differ from them always okay so basically retrograde jupiter shows the lessons you have to learn for some people it also shows you have disrespected gurus that's why in this life especially if it's afflicted uh, in the sixth house and other eighth house you have disrespected guru in the past okay it is it is okay if you are not following uh, the prescribed societal norms religious beliefs but you don't have any right to disrespect anyone okay because you cannot force anyone uh, to follow you right so that's why you must have disrespected guru teacher elderly people in this life never ever disrespect your teacher okay because it is possible that your teacher is telling you something but you do not believe it and you start arguing so you don't have to do it if you do not believe what your teacher is saying you can question very politely because they are your teachers you don't have to teach them okay so you don't have to fight with anyone you don't have to argue with anyone right just to make them believe what they what you are saying if you think that someone is teaching wrong then def and you know the right thing you should definitely bring some proof 
or tell them the truth okay with the proof if they are not believing then let it go it's their choice they will believe or not it's their choice you did your work of telling the truth you have also shown them the proof so now they will trust or not it's their choice okay but uh, always remember that if your ideologies beliefs do not match with someone please do not start fighting and arguing okay because it will make your jupiter very weak retrograde jupiter uh, is considered to be not very strong uh, right so that's why please be careful you do not argue okay jupiter teaches dharma respect religion uh, not to force your ideologies your beliefs on someone so please never do it okay otherwise for females it will create problem in marriage and other finances happiness for females jupiter is very important for marital happiness so that's why right so you have to see all these things also it shows some people have a very different soul purpose now here i'm not taking the signs signs are very important right so you uh see the signs as well but for some people they have a very different soul purpose if other planetary placements are supporting they are here to uh, teach something to people to make people know the truth okay some truths they are here to break some pattern of the society they are here to do something very different especially if saturn is also retrograde because it is karma so they are here to do something very uh, different okay so uh, they are highly evolved soul who are here to do something different with a very different soul purpose right especially if uh, saturn is also retrograde and jupiter is connected to the 10th house okay because 10th house is karma right so this is the thing now let's talk about uh, the houses so if it is retrograde in the first house shows that in the past life you did not follow the, follow the right path or you did not take care of your health okay or you uh, forced your ideologies your belief system on others in this life you need to uh, adapt to new situations you may uh, hurt people by your words by your beliefs and force people to believe what you think is right okay so in this life you don't have to do it otherwise jupiter will not give you good results so it's okay if you do not believe what others believe uh, but that doesn't mean mean you force them to follow you okay and uh, you should also focus on your health because if you do not focus on your health eat healthy then it may create problem uh, with your uh, health as well so it shows that many challenges may come in your life because jupiter is optimism so you have to be optimistic even in bad situations because this, this is your test that no matter bad situations are happening in your life but you are still calm you are still optimistic even in bad situations so that jupiter wants to teach you to not have negative thinking uh, and always have positive thinking be optimistic in your life okay so this also jupiter wants to teach you in the first house jupiter retrograde in the second house shows that you have some pending karma regarding uh, paying uh, debt to your family okay if you are facing any financial issue it means that you are paying your karmic debt of the past life to your family okay or uh, wherever you are having the financial issue in the past life you used to spend money a lot so in this life you may struggle to save money or you have more expenses okay you also left something regarding your career in this life you have to uh, focus a lot on your career so that you are able to finish your pending karma regarding your career it is possible your beliefs may differ from your family beliefs so you don't have to fight or argue with them you need to adjust with them because ultimately we are here to learn patience and to adjust with others not to fight or force anyone to believe us retrograde jupiter in the third house shows that in the past life you wanted to achieve many things okay but you did not have enough knowledge enough guidance so that you you could take efforts 
okay in this life you will want to have more and more knowledge so that you should have basically you should research so that whatever you want to achieve in your life you get the proper guidance uh, it is possible that your uh, younger siblings are your guru from the past life and they gave you some advice in the past life but you did not follow it in this life if your younger siblings give you any advice please consider it because it may be fruitful for you whenever you will travel uh, okay you will be able to uh, get some information in your subconscious mind through your angels okay so whenever you are traveling and any idea comes in your mind do consider it uh, in the fourth house it shows spending karma towards your homeland people it is possible that whatever the your homeland people your society people follow your mother follow you may not believe it or you may think that it is different from what you believe uh, it shows pending karma uh, with your mother as well so never disrespect your mother also if you disagree with the things which your homeland people your culture people follow it doesn't mean you will disrespect them okay if you do not uh, believe it it's okay but disrespecting anyone or fighting with anyone uh, you should not do it and always take care of your mother and it also shows pending karma regarding career so always follow the right path and use your knowledge whatever you have gained in this life and the past life to flourish in your career okay uh, also it shows you have the blessing of a guru regarding your career so if any teacher gives you advice regarding your career do consider it okay it also shows that uh, you can gain some assets some money wealth which was pending from the past life you can get in this life through your mother or through your home your family right if you get something it clearly shows it is from the past life okay a promise that is getting fulfilled in this life okay but it definitely shows issues with mother okay ego issues ego clashes also can happen so try to maintain good relations with mother a retrograde jupiter in the fifth house shows that your intelligence is of next level you do not follow what others want to follow regarding education also it shows pending karma regarding love life right there is something regarding love life that you have to pay off past life lovers in this life can come if someone is coming in your life and leaving you it shows that they were here to teach you something okay um in your love life never take hasty decisions always take guidance before you enter into any relationship or something uh it also shows that in the past life you did not follow uh the dharma regarding uh, relationships regarding marriage okay uh, it also shows basically that you can have problem with children or you may not feel happy with children okay so something like that it also can show in the past you did not follow the dharma in this life you should always follow the dharmic moral path so that you are able to clear your karma in the sixth house it shows health issues can happen so take care of your health here um no matter uh, how much enemies you have how much people hurt you but never react never argue fight with them forgive them you are here to learn the lesson of forgiveness you are here to learn the lesson of guiding people okay uh, you can teach you can guide people you can uh, use your knowledge as a service to people because this is your soul purpose basically you are here to complete your soul purpose uh, uh, regarding helping people through your knowledge through your wisdom right and uh, because uh, sixth house is enemy obstacle so if you fight with people it will make your jupiter weak so that's why I never fight okay is whatever is happening is just a test that is happening from the past life now in the seventh house seventh house also shows that uh, in the relationships you I did not follow the dharma the moral path maybe you cheated you lied right and you had too much regret so that's why you wanted jupiter to sit here so that it may show you the right path 
and so that you never go wrong in any uh, in any of your relationship or while dealing with people or in any business or something it also shows a desire to have a business okay so whichever spouse will enter in your life can be a very evolved soul who is entering in your life to create the situations to teach you and to help you evolve okay someone from the past life is coming in this life to do that for you okay so you should always respect your gurus and uh, in relationships also if there is any cultural difference with the partner it's okay because jupiter is retrograde now uh, in the eighth house in the eighth house it shows that you have the hidden talent and uh, you are a very intelligent person in the past life also you were somewhere into occult into mysticism so in this life it is carried forward so you should gain more and more knowledge regarding occult mysticism because you could be very interested in that and you can fulfill your soul purpose of helping the people through astrology Thanks, okay. occult mysticism tarot right so it can be your soul purpose because you are carrying it from the past life okay in the ninth house ninth house it shows that your uh, religious beliefs can be very different from uh, what your family or your culture may follow okay so it is because you wanted to know the truth in this life you wanted to explore the truth in this life it is also possible that you have taken birth in a family um in the uh, i mean in the past life you were of different religion and you have taken birth in a different religion culture to explore that culture and to teach the people of that culture what is the reality basically you are a evolved soul also and uh, you are here to help people through your knowledge wisdom you should always follow guru and teachers but never disrespect teachers okay it is also possible that you have disrespected teachers in the past life okay in the 10th house in the 10th house it shows that you left your career in the past life you did not fulfill your uh, work your karma whatever your karma was okay you know you can do a very different work which no one ever did so you should focus a lot on your career uh, whatever you want to do and try to apply something that others do not apply because you have gained this knowledge to do something different you have gained a particular talent which others may not have in this life it can it can also create problem with bosses with your colleagues with people working around you you may not feel comfortable you feel like uh, they are challenging you you may uh, also feel uh, pessimistic regarding all these things your career so it is just a test a lesson which you have to fulfill in this life so don't worry regarding it okay it will pass you just have to do what is best for you in the 11th house um it can give you gains but it can give you sudden gains sometimes okay because it is retrograde okay it, it can also show that you have some pessimistic beliefs regarding network circle regarding large organizations uh, you can think that they do something wrong or something that is not right or difference of opinion it can show difference of opinion with friends or your friends and all they teach you always or they always tell you something to follow which you may not like okay also it shows pending karma uh, regarding sharing your knowledge with others you should always try to guide people if you think that someone is going wrong or doing wrong so consider it your duty to at least tell them following or not following it's their choice okay so from your side you should at least let people know okay in the 12th house it shows that you can spend money a lot charity a lot you may think that you should do charity so it is only guided that in the past you already did a lot of charity so in this life you should not focus uh, on that part that much uh, okay you should try to save more and more money and uh, you should not focus on problems a lot obstacles a lot instead you should focus on your spiritual growth 
that will help you more to evolve in your life okay so i hope this video was helpful please don't forget to subscribe take care bye